Andon is a lean manufacturing system that is designed to stop production when the defect arises and the work is stopped until the issue is resolved. So how does this Andon system work? So in this video, we are going to understand this Andon man lean manufacturing system in detail. So without wasting any further time, let's start our today's video on Andon lean manufacturing. Hello and welcome to yet another video series from Digital E-Learning, your one-stop solution for all your learning needs. Andon is a Japanese term which means light or lamp, which is a common ornament in Japan. It is nothing but a manufacturing term referring to a signal that is used to alert people to the problem with the process or if there is an issue with the quality of the product. The goal of Andon is to improve the flow of communication when the actual problem arises. Andons are typically color coded in this way. The color flashing on the Andon tower light represents the condition of system and the action that needs to be taken. For example, if the andon is showing as green color, it means the condition is normal and the operation can continue as normal. But if the it is blinking as yellow, that means some problem has appeared and problem need to be investigated further. And when you see this red color, it means that the production has been stopped and either a supervisor or a manager is required to see what has happened. So whenever a worker detect any problem in production line or found himself unable to keep the pace with the line, he could stop the operations by pulling a cord named as Andon cord, which could set off an alarm system and illuminate the color coded Andon electric board. An Andon system is one of the principal elements of Judoka quality control method that is pioneered by Toyota as a part of Toyota production system and therefore now a part of lean approach. It gives worker the ability to stop production when the defect is found and immediately calls for assistance. Some common reason could be that the parts are short defective parts are being produced, tool is malfunctioning or if they, there is some safety concern. So work is stopped in this case until the solution has been discovered. In the West, the popular way to combat production problem is the traditional firefighting where you will look for somebody who can actually fix the symptom so that the work can continue without any delay. However, it will take some time before the operator notice or escalates the problem and it will take more time to find somebody who can actually help at that time and it all depend upon the availability of a firefighter. So an and on accelerates the information flow related to the slowdown and stops the production system. As such, it has some input and output. So information flow about the problem is put into the system and this can happen manually. Most famous type is the Andon card or sometimes known as the Andon rope. This is a rope hanging from ceiling. If the operator encounters a problem, he pulls a rope. As you can see in this figure, operator is pulling the red rope which gives a signal to the Andon that there is some problem. Usually a second pull cancels the signal that was sent earlier and tells the Andon problem has been resolved. The use of Andon is a core element of Jidoka that is the component of Toyota production system. That means automation with human touch. So if you want to know more about what is Jidoka, you can click on this I button here. I will give you detailed information about Jidoka. The goal of Judoka is to improve the quality and Andon is a signal that identifies the quality problems right away. Although originally developed by Toyota, Andon has become the common term in lean manufacturing. 
All factories have problem that may delay or stop production. Yes, even Toyota has some problems. A good factory has fewer problems and can fix them faster and tries to eliminate the root cause of a problem. Andon can help with that process by standardizing the and accelerating the information flow and hence enabling the faster response with less effort that is wasted on conveying the information. Like most principles in lean manufacturing, Andon Cord itself does not add any value. Likewise, if the action isn't taken immediately, the system is altered. It defeats the purpose that can actually distract the value that you are targeting from your end customer. Let us look at the two different types of and on system. Typically, they are of two types, manual and automatic. So in manuals, the and-ons are activated manually by operators or employees in the assembly line either by pressing a static button or, or pulling a cord. Cord is probably the best known, but it does not have to be a cord. It could be an and-on switch or an and-on button as well. A cord has an advantage here that on a large assembly line, it gives easy access to the signal line over the longer distance. While the button that worker can push, it has to walk it over before pressing it. Of course, for small workspace, button or switch will just be fine since worker is not walking around anyway. And then we have this automatic system where the andons are activated auto automatically or are machine controlled here. Using the andon system in lean manufacturing will yield many benefits both in short term and the long term. But the key benefit of andon system is that it makes the condition of manufacturing process readily and easily visible to the plant managers, operators, and the maintenance person. But some other benefits include are, is that it improves the transparency. It encourages immediate reaction to quality, downtime, and safety problems. Workers have little incentive to hide issues. Instead, they are encouraged to react to problems so that the quality and the safety and the downtime are improved. It increases the productivity. It brings immediate attention to problems as they occur in the manufacturing process. People are encouraged to in focus on increasing their productivity, where problems are quickly noticed and resolved so that the production can resume. It helps in strengthening the flexibility, improves accountability of operators by increasing their responsibility for good production and empowering them to take action when the problem occurs. Operators are given the freedom to take action when issues occur instead of waiting on the leadership. It helps in reducing the downtime by improving the ability of supervisors and operators to quickly identify and resolve the manufacturing issues. Operators and supervisors are better able to resolve manufacturing issues and keep the assembly line moving, which in short reduces the downtime. It saves cost and time by providing a simple and consistent mechanism for communicating information on the plant floor and on board allows for a greater communication on the floor so that the time is saved and the labor cost is cut. And last but not the least is that it helps in enhancing the value to the end customer because of the better quality of products that are being produced. So when and on is incorporated correctly, it enhances the production process and build the customer trust. So that is all I have on this video. See you soon in my next video.